Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Unlimited. So children, today we will be solving lesson number 4 from your workbook that is water safe for drinking. So let's start. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks choosing appropriate words from those given in the bracket. Number 1. Substances like salt and sugar dash after some time when added to water. The answer is dissolve. Second one, the mixture obtained on dissolving a substance in water is called dash. The answer is solution. Third one, ORS is an example of dash solutions. Answer, useful. Fourth one, all microorganisms are not useful. Some can cause dash if they enter our body. Answer, disease. Fifth one, Things that float in water are dash than it and things that sink are dash than it. In the first blank write lighter and the second blank write heavier. Okay, then see the sixth one. A substance called dash is swirled in muddy water to help clean the water. The answer is alum. Seventh one. Sea water is a solution of salts that occurs dash. The answer is naturally. Eighth one, boiling the water kills the dash in it and prevents diseases. The answer is microorganisms. Let's move to the next question. Question number two, write whether the following statements are true or false. Number one, alum powder does not dissolve in water. False. Second one, microorganisms cannot live in water. False. Third one, if muddy water remains still, sediment is formed at its bottom. True. Fourth one, an eraser floats in water. Answer, false. Fifth one, tea leaves can be separated from tea by filtration. Answer, true. Sixth one, turmeric powder dissolves in water completely. Answer, false. Seventh one, water from all the wells taste same. Answer false. Eighth one, clean and transparent water may not be potable. True. Ninth one, the microorganisms that convert milk to yogurt are harmful to us. False. Tenth one, we are not able to see harmful microorganisms present in the water with naked eye. That is true. Let's see the next question. Question number 3. Match the column. First one. Substances that can dissolve. Answer. Sugar. Salt. Second one. Substances that cannot dissolve. Answer. Oil. Flour. Third one. Things heavier than water. Answer. Nail. Soil. Fourth one. Things lighter than water. Answer. Dry leaves. Twigs. Question number 4. Answer in one sentence each. Question number 1. When is ORS given to someone for drinking? Answer. When someone gets loose motions and water in the body becomes less, then ORS is given to such person. Question number 2. How should be the drinking water? Answer. Drinking water should be colorless, odorless, tasteless, safe and portable question number three which diseases show outbreaks in the rainy season answer diarrhea and gastritis are the diseases that show outbreaks in the rainy season question number four which instrument is used for observing tiny microorganisms answer microscope is used for observing tiny microorganisms Let's see question number 5. Give reasons. Number 1. The sea water tastes salty. Answer. The sea water contains dissolved salt. It is a natural solution of salts. Therefore, sea water tastes salty. Number 2. When we remove the lid of a soda water bottle, the bubbles fizz out from it. Answer. When soda water is prepared, the carbon dioxide gas is dissolved in the water by putting in pressure. 
when the lid is opened this carbon dioxide tries to escape from the soda water bottle carbon dioxide comes out of water in the form of fizzing bubbles third one a piece of alum is swirled in the muddy water during rainy season answer during rainy season the particles of mud mix with the water making it muddy a piece of alum is swirled in such water to settle the mud particles to the bottom let's see question number 6 answer the following questions number 1 name the substances used to make the solution called lemon sherbet answer lemon sherbet is a mixture of lemon juice salt and sugar in a solution form question number 2 Why is it that water that looks clean and transparent may not be fit for drinking? Answer: The water that looks clean and transparent may contain harmful microorganisms which cannot be seen with the naked eye. Therefore, it can cause diseases and is harmful for health. Such water is not fit for drinking. Let's see the next question. Question number three: When making a sherbet, what do we do to make sugar dissolved quickly? Answer: We stir the sugar added to the sherbet with the help of a spoon. This makes the sugar dissolve quickly. Then we have question number four: Water becomes transparent. What is the meaning of this sentence? Or how can we tell that water has become transparent? Answer. when the suspended particles in the water settle down at the bottom it looks transparent when a piece of alum is swirled in muddy water it dissolves in water and takes mud particles along with it to the bottom since the mud particles are heavier than water they form a sediment at the bottom thus such water is said to become transparent number 5 does oil float on water or sink in it answer oil floats on water let's see the next question question number 7 use your brain power number 1 some substances do not dissolve in water what could be the advantage of this answer If two substances are mixed together and one is not able to dissolve we can separate them easily once the substance dissolves it becomes very difficult to take it out of the solution but the substances which are unable to dissolve can be separated out by filtration or settling this is the advantage of substances that do not dissolve Number 2 some rava has gone mixed with sago pearls or sabudana what sieve should we use to separate the two the one that allows rava to pass through or the one that allows sago answer the particles of rava are very small as compared to the sago pearls therefore the sieve selected should be such that rava should pass through the holes of the sieve but sago pearls should remain in the sieve in such type of sieve the rava and sago pearls can be easily separated the next is open ended questions question number 1 which method of making water safe and potable is used in your home answer boiling is the surest method to kill disease causing germs including viruses bacteria and parasites question number 2 what happens to the health when we drink any water that we get answer one should never drink water that haven't purified even if the water looks clean water may contain harmful bacteria viruses or parasites contaminated water may transmit diseases such as cholera diarrhea dysentery hepatitis a typhoid and polio 
लेट्स सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इफ वॉटर हैज फाउल स्मेल वॉट विल यू डू आंसर क्लोरिन इज द मोस्ट वाइडली यूज ऑक्सीडेंट टू रिमूव फाउल स्मेल फ्रॉम वॉटर दस आई शाल यूज दिस मैथड फॉर रिमूवल ऑफ फाउल स्मेल फ्रॉम वॉटर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर विच आर द यूजफुल एंड हार्मफुल थिंग्स डन बाई टाइनी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आंसर यूजफुल थिंग्स हेल्प डाइजेस्ट फूड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मैनी फूड आइटम्स मेकिंग मेडिसिन यूज टू प्रिपेयर वैक्सीन फॉर वेरियस डिजीजेस एंड द हार्मफुल थिंग्स आर फूड स्पॉयलेज कॉज डिजीजेज एंड इन्फेक्शन डैमेज क्रॉप्स प्रोड्यूस टॉक्सिन्स Now let's see the next part that is activity project. What's the solution? Mother had brought some cumin seeds, jeera from the shop, but some sand got mixed in it. Mother wants the jeera seeds cleaned. Answer: Cumin seeds can be separated from sand by hand picking or sieving. A sieve having pore size greater than cumin seeds can be used. so children you can copy these notes in your workbook okay so that's all for lesson number 4 water safe for drinking so if you like the video do subscribe the channel like it and share it with your friends who need it see you soon in the next video take care of yourself bye everyone